Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about limits that involve L'Hopital's rule and also the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So let's take a look. Our first limit is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of the integral from 0 to x of cosine of 3t dt all over sine of 6x. Okay, so first thing you want to do is try to evaluate by direct substitution because that's kind of the first thing you do on every limit problem. Uh, so I'm going to do that over on the side here. So looking just at the numerator, I would need to do the limit as x approaches 0 of the integral from 0 to x, cosine of 3t dt. And then, so it's x approaches 0, so I can just substitute and get the integral from 0 to 0 of cosine of 3t dt. But the integral from 0 to 0 of anything is just going to be 0. So we have 0 in the numerator. Now I need to look at the denominator limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 6x. Um, the sine of 0 is 0, so this is just going to be 0. So we actually have 0 over 0. So now we can use L'Hopital's rule. So what I like to do is write equals by L'Hopital's rule. Um, the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of write that out here. The derivative of this numerator here over the derivative of the denominator. So you definitely never want to confuse L'Hopital's with the quotient rule, two totally different things. Um, so now I need to take the derivative of the top. So I get the limit as x approaches 0. So here um, I look at the upper bound and it's x. I'm going to replace every t that I see in the integrand, which is just this one with that upper bound. So I'm going to change every t into just an x in this case. So let's do that. So it's cosine of 3x. Then you go back to the upper bound, which is x, and multiply by the derivative of the upper bound. But the derivative of x is just 1. I usually write it in just so that I don't forget it when the derivative is not 1. Um, I think that's a good idea. And then uh, that's the derivative of the top. Uh, the bottom is you know, a little easier. So the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing times the derivative of that thing. So I'm going to get 6 cosine of 6x. And then uh, at this point, we can do direct substitution, right? The cosine of 0 is 1. So I actually end up with 1 times 1 in the numerator, 6 times 1 in the denominator. So just 1 6. And that's the answer. OK, uh, I'm going to do one more just so we can take a look at it limit as x approaches 1 of the integral from 1 to x squared of 5t cubed minus 3 dt over x cubed minus 1. So I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to try to evaluate by direct substitution because sometimes that works. Um, and that's there is like almost trick questions when it just works on its own because people often forget to check. OK, if I substitute here, it's x is approaching 1, x squared, right? So that's 1 squared. So it's really just the integral from 1 to 1 of 5t cubed minus 3 dt. The integral from 1 to 1 of a function is definitely going to be 0. So the numerator goes to 0. The denominator is, you know, more straightforward. They always tend to put the integral on the numerator with these problems. I mean, it doesn't need to be there, um, but almost always. And direct substitution here also gives me 0. So I have 0 over 0. I can definitely use L'Hopital's on it. So this is going to equal, by L'Hopital's, the limit as x approaches 1. And then it's the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. And now let's take some derivatives. So I need to use the second fundamental theorem to find the derivative of the numerator. So what I do is I see the upper bound here is x squared. I look for every t in the integrand or every the every instance of the variable in the integrand, but there's only t here. So t, I'm going to replace that t with x squared. That gives me 5. So it's going to be x squared cubed. So x squared cubed is x to the sixth because you multiply the exponents. So x to the sixth and then minus 3. Um, I'm going to put that in parentheses. And now I need to multiply by the derivative of the upper bound. So I go back and look at x squared. The derivative is 2x. And there you go. And now I need to take the derivative of the denominator, but that's just 3x squared. And then uh, 
Now I'm going to try to evaluate this by direct substitution. So every x that I see is going to get replaced with a 1. And when I do that, I actually end up with uh, 5 minus 3 is 2 times 2 over 3. And so I actually just get 4 thirds, and I didn't need to do any additional simplification. So there you go. All right, so that's two pretty good examples, I think, of limits that involve the second fundamental theorem. They involve L'Hopital's rule. Um, they're not super common, but when you see them, they look a little scary, but they're not bad. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.